What's going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? So nice to see you all. Sorry I wasn't able to stream yesterday. Had a lot going on IRL, but I figured we would make make up for it today. Uh, so we're in the chill survival world today. We're going to be hanging out. I think we're going to finish up this build a little bit and just vibe. Uh, there's currently, for some reason, a thunderstorm that's supposed to happen over here, and I'm really hoping it doesn't affect power or anything. So I don't know how long uh, we'll be live today, but... We'll stream for as long as we can, and we're just going to vibe and hang out. How are y'all doing? So nice to see everybody. Azzy, uh, Raph, welcome on in. Damon, Angie, Ayla, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Uh, Divian, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. So nice to see you all. How how has your week been? I mean, it's only it's only Tuesday, so... But still, how, how has the week been? I'm gonna start things off by going over here to feed up some cows and stuff because I'm, I'm in need of some food. So I think we're gonna like kind of just work on general base maintenance in between as well and just hang out today. All right, let's go over here. Get some wheat. Rainy day is the perfect day for a drift stream. Honestly, I'm drift and I feel that. <laughs> Honestly though, it's like the perfect day for me to even stream and stuff, you know? Haven't, um, I was super busy this morning and I wasn't able to get much, uh, of, like video making done, but super excited because I have the rest of the week to do that. I am currently, uh, working on a 100 days chat. Another 100 days. This is gonna be my first solo one. I'm very, very excited for you all to see it. It's gonna be a super, super fun time. I've really been vibing with it. Been wanting to do 100 days for a while. Just haven't been able to like slot it in amongst other videos. But um, I do have a couple of other cozy long plays in that lighthouse world that we've been working on. So I've got a couple of those scheduled and ready to go. Uh, so those will be coming up shortly. Probably gonna post that tomorrow for you all. And I've been really vibing in that world as well. I've been having having a great time with what we've been doing. Hope you and BT are, P, BTD are doing great. Gonna get into my single player world and keep this in the background. Heck yeah, I hope your single player world is going well. And thank you, I, me and BTD are doing great. We are just absolutely vibing. Um, super busy lately, but that's that's okay. That's okay. We've been uh, just like chilling in between, you know, playing Fortnite, all of that stuff. Minecraft all day, every day. Oh, yeah. Even the cow agrees. He's like spinning in excitement. All day, every day. This week has been a little crazy. Currently taking a uh, break from arranging music, like composing music and stuff. Hope, uh, hope your week chills out a little bit more, though. I know, I know the that feeling of a crazy week can sometimes feel a little bit over overwhelming. Pretty fun, can't wait. I'm gonna challenge you to make small things for each animal. Wait, for my 100 days? Hi Drift, hope you're having a great day. Oh, Chloe, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And thank you for popping into the stream. I hope you're having a great day as well. Oh my gosh, look at what we got here. Look at what we've got, we've got a froggy channel membership for 17 months what 17 months holy thank you so so much i really appreciate that chat you know what to do big 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 swags in chat for froggy it smells like stinky in here well i can't deny it any longer i do smell so i'm, I'm not even gonna try to deny it anymore you know glad i was able to finally catch one of your streams all holler thank you so much for pop popping in i really really appreciate it Oh my gosh, and we've got ourselves another Drift channel membership. Ayla, thank you so much for becoming a Drift channel member. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Enjoy all of your emotes and all that stuff. Thank you so, so much. Big, big swags in chat. Big swags. I really, really appreciate that. All right, I'm going to start by... um. So what we have to do today on this structure is just kind of like add a couple more details to it. I really like it. It's very nice. I just want to add some uh, like oak to some of the beams i want to add a chimney to get a little bit of like movement and fire and stuff here because like who doesn't love a good chimney you know you need a good chimney so we're just gonna do a couple more touch-ups on this base and then probably just like hang around gather up some resources and all that stuff just super chill vibes today honestly super chill vibes on this like weirdly rainy day what is going on chat what is going on with that why are we getting rain in February, huh? 
What the heck is that? You know? Wait, do I have? Oh yeah, I do have scaffolding. Let's go! Big fan of you. Lots of love from Malaysia. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. What's my time zone? I'm EST and I'm uh, I'm in Toronto. Not on Twitch today? No, we're on Twitch on uh, Fridays and Saturdays are our Twitch days. So if any of you feel like catching any of our Twitch streams, uh, I think if you do excl exclamation point Twitch, you can find my handle there and feel free to join us. It's usually just like lots of shenanigans and stuff. Super fun time on Twitch. I also have, uh, if you do exclamation point second, I have my VOD channel up. So if anybody uh, wants to catch some of the VODs, you're not able to make the Twitch streams, no worries. We've got the VODs up on the second channel now. Probably got another couple coming at you very soon. Could be snow. Listen, I heard thunder. I heard thunder not too long ago. I heard the thunder. It is gonna, <laughs> apparently, it's gonna be a down downpouring of rain. Why? Why? I'm kind of hoping it snows instead though. You know, I'm kind of hoping they're wrong. Okay, maybe second doesn't work. Thank you for trying, Froggy. <laughs> okay, Azzy, Azzy is the unofficial, unofficial, um, what is it, link giver. Thank you so much. I, th I think Stream Elements have, has checked out again. Got a bad cold watching you to cheer me up. Aw, person, I hope you feel better soon. Hope you feel better soon. All right, let's get some texture on these beams too. Ooh, doing homework while watching the li the lives. I hope the homework is going well. Hope it's going well. Ah! Sorry. Sorry, chat. My bad. Let's do a little bit of texture in right here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Azibot. <laughs> uh such a nice roof thank you yeah we added in a bunch of leaves i want to add in some like lily of the valley and stuff honestly I, I might try some of the lavender that's lavender right yes i think so it might look a little bit goofy but we'll see it would tie in with the pink you know so i'm kind of considering that i know we need to organize the new bot it's definitely definitely becoming a bit of a problem eh i'll, I'll look into getting that sorted this week for sure Yo, block down, homie. How you doing? So nice to see ya. So nice to see ya. What you up to? All right, I need like Lily of the Valley. Thought I had a bunch though. What the heck? You know, I would not be opposed to going on like just a little little adventure. It's been a while since I've like adventured outside of this base. I know we did like a quick little adventure the last stream, but that, it hasn't really been part of my Let's Plays recently. So I'm kind of like. I would love to kind of like walk around and see what's around, you know? Watching your videos lately, really love how you build and talk during streams. Oh, Nita, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for popping into stream today. Feel bad for missing the last two streams? Oh, no worries whatsoever. Life, life be like that. Life be like that. I appreciate having you here though, Ayla. Thank you so much. And thanks for the, the belated birthday wishes. Yeah, chat, it was my birthday. Uh, what day was it? On the 22nd. So I hung out um, with some friends, had a really good time, and it was it was awesome. I was super, super happy. It was a nice weekend. We did some like celebra celebratory stuff over the weekend. It was super fun, super chill. Good time all around. Yeah, I only have two Lily of the Valley. I feel like we need to change that. Maybe we'll grab a boat and go for a, a little bit of an adventure. Where did I put my boats? I know I have, oh, there's one. I was like, I know I have boats like hidden around this base. Oops. No. No. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Are you going to decorate your new stream room? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I am. I'm... 
hoping it's going to be a little bit smaller, but I think that's a good thing because I just had so much like excess space around me that I didn't know what to do with. So definitely going to be decorating the new stream room, trying to like cable manage a bit better because honestly, chat, like my cable management situation is atrocious right now. So once I set up my computer, it'll be like an excuse for like a new fresh beginning. And hopefully it'll, I'll be in a better position than what I am now because it's pretty bad. Smee, thank you so much for becoming a Drift channel member. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Big, big swags in chat for Smee. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. All the hype in chat, please. Want to see it. Big, big swags. Ah, I almost fell. Your birthday's in one week. Let's go. Happy soon birthday. Make a tutorial of your storage room in your cozy Let's Play world. Honestly, <laughs> if I could, I would. That was that was made out of sheer panic and anxiety. <laughs> I was like, if you're talking about the one where I made like the dome, the dome ceiling where you like fly through. Honestly, a lot of that was done kind of like freestyle. And there was one day where I was like learning how to make a dome and I was just purely panicking. That's the problem with some of the builds on stream. I mean, I'm sure I could replicate them, but a lot of them are done like very freestyle now. So it's just like <laughs> replicating it sometimes might be a little bit tricky. Cable management stream when? Oh my gosh, that'll be another stream where I cry. I don't know what I'm doing. See, the thing with cable management is I'm like, I get it in theory, but then I'm like, well, what if I have to like get rid of a cable? How do I get rid of that? Cause it's all like twist tied together and stuff. Like, how do you solve that? I guess maybe the trick is to not use uh, zip ties, which is what I've used before. I think maybe I just need to use like Velcro ties and stuff. The circle is 27. Yeah, that was the meme uh, with that storage build, making that dome. The circle is 27. Mom, can you help me? I'm scared. Oh, Foxy, that build sounds super nice. Potion brewing area. I love that. Isn't it funny when you intend to build something and then you look at the structure and you're like, I actually think this would be better suited as something else. And it completely changes. I love it. Hey, Ayla, good advice. Good advice. Whoa, what's this chat? Chat, what is this? Are we due for a caving adventure? Are we due for a cheeky little caving adventure? Me thinks. Me thinks yes. Oh my. What's down here? Listen, I love caving. I could do this all day. Oh my gosh, he has a sword though. What? Bro. Bro. All right, I got plenty of torches. I can torch this place up. Iron, don't even need it anymore. Ha. Don't even need the iron anymore. Oh no. I do need some coal though, until I make a lava farm, which is probably gonna be next on the list for chill survival, I'm thinking. I'm thinking lava farm and super smelter. Cause having to constantly replenish coal can be very, <laughs> very time consuming at times. We go through a lot cause that's like my primary fuel source. So I'm thinking we switch things up soon. It's gonna be a while until we do that though. Cause I'm currently working on 100 days. My cable management or lack thereof is hidden between my monitor and the PC itself. See, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm like hiding it behind the monitor. I can see it right now. I have like hundreds of cables. Hundreds of cables. It's not looking good. There's just so many like components that I have on my PC now. It's like you got your stream deck, you've got your Go XLR, you've got your camera, you got all of that stuff. How do I even have enough ports for it all, chat? I barely do. 
Azibot's so good, I need that on my streams. Yeah, Azibot is probably the most reliable bot there is. I've got to be real. Uh, let's see. Let's. I don't want to get taken down by a creeper today. Oh, I only had two arrows. Oh no. Okay. Operation find diamond and name it frog crafting. That's the operation we are on right now. Still have not found a dark oak forest? What the heck, really? Honestly, sometimes, isn't it weird that sometimes, depending on the seeds, some biomes can be so tricky to find? Oh no. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the 10. Ian, thank you so, so much. Or should I say toots? Thank you so much. Hey, Drifts. Uh, hey, chat. Sending much love to you all. Hope you all had a great weekend. Oh, thank you so much for the 10. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat? I really appreciate it. And I hope you had a great weekend as well. So nice to see you. Hope you're taking care. I need an infinity bow. I really do. I think I need to get the infinity enchantment, enchantment next. To be fair, I need to get a lot of enchantments in this world, too. I still need, I think... I've got... No, I've got Mending. I've got Unbreaking. I need to set up basically like a hall at this point because I don't have anything yet. I'll mod you for my once a year stream, Azzy. Please make it regular, Blockdown. Please make it regular. Make your streams regular. Make your streams regular. I don't know why I'm doing this chant. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's some more coal here. There's some danger too, but that's okay. Nothing I can't handle. Let's go. Ow. Nice. Honestly, I'd also like to... I should probably grab some more, like, granite and stuff. Maybe we'll do that at a cave closer to us, because I just find that whenever I'm uh, making stuff in this world, I'm starting to run low on, like, random resources like that. It is also raining. I feel like I should sleep. But I'm always, like, having to run into the caves while I'm making stuff. I'd like to kind of have a little bit of a, a supply of like andesite and granite is what I find I'm always collecting during episodes. Would be awesome if block stream too. Well, it's your lucky day because Blockdown did his first YouTube stream the other day. Go check it out, chat. Go check it out. Dor Dorito was watching your long plays earlier, Drift, and he was asleep on the bed and had them playing. I asked him how he learned how to turn on the TV, and then Glee said he did it because he likes your voice. Dorito. Dorito. Wait, Dorito likes my voice or Glee does? Or both? Is That's so sweet. Well, send send my love to Dorito and also Glee if Glee's the one who actually turned it on. But I, I, I'd like to believe that it was Dorito who turned on my streams. If, if Dorito was my biggest fan, I would be honored, you know? I feel like he has, like, very particular tastes, so. It's gonna be 20 minutes of Drift shouting Billithy's brother, Jimothy, for the Infinity Trade. Oh my gosh, so true. That was wild the other day in our long-term world. I was struggling so much, chat, trying to get one of the enchantments. I ended up getting so frustrated that for some reason I just ended up naming the villager Billithy. But it, you know what? It worked. We got the enchantment sh like shortly after, you know? You think both froggy? Oh my gosh. I have two fans. I am honored. So honored. It's probably because you use it a lot. Oh yeah. Granite and andesite are very, very common. Um resources that I use in my build for sure. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. Then I think we'll go through these caves really quickly, grab a ton of granite, 
uh, a ton of andesite and hopefully that should kind of help us out because they're just like my main texturing blocks at this point and constantly running out is not not great we oops what are you doing down there buddy what are you doing All right, let's go home really quickly. I am stuck. Wow, I did a really good job of fencing some of this off. Even I can't get through it. Honestly. Angie, thank you so much for the 199. I really appreciate that. My first super who better to go to than Drift. Oh, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate that. Chat, you know what to do. Big, big swags in chat. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. All right, let's pop in some of our resources. Coal and charcoal can go here. Cobble can go, how are we doing for cobble? We are running pretty low on cobble too. That ain't good chat, that ain't good at all. And then various stones. I mean, we've got like a little bit of granite, but we could definitely use more. Andesite, we're actually not as bad as I thought. Still use a little bit more. I would love to eventually disenchant this shovel though, because I do have like efficiency on it, great mending. I hate silk touch on shovels though. Sometimes I don't know what it is. I'm like, I'd prefer to work with dirt, especially because there are some recipes you need dirt for. Like let's say I wanted to make coarse dirt on a whim. You know what I mean? It's just, I find it's very frustrating having grass blocks instead. So I think I'd like to disenchant that one day when I have a couple more levels and stuff. What else do I need? I have mob loot. Mob loot. Gonna have to make a storage uh, area soon too, chat. We have lots of projects to work on. All right, let me just hold on a second, chat. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry about that. My cat may have no clue what Minecraft is, but I think she enjoys watching this. She's simply silly. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, my cat, Ruth, loves watching Stardew Valley, especially fishing. But like it's there's something about like the way that the um the foliage kind of like rustles when it's like windy in the game or whatever. Like the the animation of the foliage, she is obsessed with it and she will literally literally like fight the tv she'll smack it because she's just like so entranced by it it's so so funny i don't know about minecraft content she doesn't really focus on that much but honestly i'm thankful for that because if she was like smacking my screen while i was playing games i don't know what i'd do also funny videos thank you so much for the 749 oh my gosh thank you so so much i really really appreciate that chat you know what to do Big, big swags in chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. How's Ruth taking the move? Okay, Ruth is actually like, <laughs> we. it's funny because we always look at her every day. We're always like, you have no idea you're moving, Ruth. You don't even know. You just know things are a little bit different because stuff's in boxes. And she just looks at us like, huh? But um, I think day of the move, she's honestly probably going to be fine. The last time we moved with her, she was actually just like, she was so curious. She was sniffing everything. She was running around. It was her first time actually trying stairs because we have stairs in this apartment and we didn't in our old one. And um, she was like, I, w I actually wasn't there for that. Uh, Big Tiny Duck was because I was at the old apartment getting stuff settled there. But she said that like Ruth was literally like jumping the stairs and learning how to like run on them and stuff. Once she figured it out, she was so excited. So I think once like, honestly, once we move, like she's actually a very chill cat in the sense that like, as long as we're like around her, she's fine. Um, I think we're very lucky for that. She is very chill about stuff like that. Like we've even had to take her to my parents a couple of times uh, over the past year. And like, we're there the whole time we don't leave her with them. And 
She's just like vibing, you know? Even in the car, she's vibing. She's like, whatever. She only whines when we're in the car if she knows that she is going to the vet. If she knows she's going to the vet, she, there's something she can tell. She can tell. She'll still get in her carrier, but she'll, she will literally give us the cold shoulder. Like, <laughs> on our way to the vet, like, Big Tiny Duck is usually the one that holds onto the carrier, and I'm the one who drives, and she will literally give both of us the cold shoulder. She'll, like, turn away from us in the car. It is so funny. <laughs> She's like, you have betrayed me. We were talking about this, like, last night, but me and Big Tiny Duck were like, I feel like a common... <laughs> Like, Ruth feels betrayal more than she should. Like, for no reason, though. Like, Ruth is a cat where she, like... For some reason, one of her emotions is betrayal. <laughs> and she's so silly, though. We're very lucky that she's, like, super good um, about stuff like that, though. Because I know it can be really tricky to bring your cats to certain places. Like, I know my sister told me that, like, even bringing them their cats to the vet, like, it is just, like, it's stressful. So we're very lucky. My other cats are banned from my room because they act like uh, they own the keyboard. Oh my gosh. Ruth, thankfully, doesn't like... She doesn't always step on my keyboard. She'll sleep in front of it, though. She hasn't done that in a while, though, and I'm a little bit sad about it. She used to literally nap in front of my keyboard, but it kind of prevented me from having, like, full, full mobility for my mouse. But, like, I found the trade-off to be worth it. I was like, I get, like, a cute cat having a nap in front of me, like, while I work. Like, what's better than that, you know? Your cat just gets in the carrier. I have to trick Pandora into the carrier and pick her up. Yeah, no, literally, if I bring it out, I mean, like, I'm actually worried that one day she's going to stop. But, like, if we bring it out, she looks at us and she's like, oh, guys, what the heck? And then she gets in it anyway. Like, if I pick her up, she'll literally just let me put her in the carrier. And then that's it. We're done with it. It's bizarre, but like, I do worry that like one day, like what if that changes? And she's like, you know what? I've had enough of this. I do want to put up a fight. <laughs> yeah, my food is late. Betrayal. I think that that was actually one of the things last night where um, I think that's why the topic, topic of conversation came up was because we were, um, we've decided to kind of change her feeding time a little bit because she gets wet food and dry food at night. And uh, they're like pretty much like close to one another, like by like 20 minutes apart. However, we feed her around like five o'clock. And I we were like, I just feel like that might be like too much of a gap between her dinner time and then breakfast in the morning. So we're going to like we were like, OK, let's just try like feeding her the wet food a little bit later. So she gets wet or sorry, wet food at five o'clock, dry food at like 630 or like seven. And last night she was not happy. Like, she was genuinely very upset, and I could tell she felt a little bit betrayed by us because she kept, like, running up to us, and I felt so bad, but I was like, you know what? I feel like she's gonna be so much better off if we do this. But boy, oh boy, I, I felt like we had definitely betrayed her a bit, you know? You always get weird looks from the receptionist if they're new and take the cat to the vet. Well, why? Why? Also, Cass, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. You have this thing where I have to remove her paws from the edges of the carrier to get her in. She clings to her freedom. Oh, I've seen cats do that before. Oh, they're like trying so hard. That happened um, actually when we first got Ruth. That happened with her litter. Her litter box. She was like clinging to the edges of it and we couldn't figure out why. And then finally we realized like some of the packaging of litter is like really weird where it'll, like it's just like overly descriptive. So you don't actually know what it is. We thought we just got her basic unscented litter, but then we read the box a little bit more and it actually had a scent. And I didn't even notice like you could barely smell it, but obviously like it bothered her. And we I felt so bad. The poor little thing. She did not like it at all. And then we switched out the litter to something like super unscented. And I kid you not, chat, that that day, 
she laid in her litter box like it was a bed and she was rolling around in it. It was fresh litter. She wasn't rolling around in like poop or anything, but I've never seen a cat do that. <laughs> like what the heck, chat? Brittany, so nice to see ya. Hope you're having a great day as well. Oh, I fell. Your cat's name is Mouse. I love that. You got the stare this morning because Pandora had to wait for me to get home from the gym before I let her out. Oh, poor thing. Poor, poor thing. See, that's the thing. Sometimes when like you're on your own schedule and not theirs, they're like, excuse me. Nicholas, so nice to see you. Welcome on in. Builds are so inspiring. Do you mind showing your creative world? I love your building style. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so my creative world is on a different instance right now, but if I can show it next week, I absolutely will. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to put away some of the stone and stuff, and then we'll kind of finish up the, uh, the sawmill. I had a cat roll around in clean litter before. He was an odd one, that's for sure. That's how I would uh, describe Ruth. She's just a little, she's just a little weird, you know? She's a little weird, but she's charming. She's charming, that's okay. Please collab with Sev, she's so funny. Oh my gosh, Sev, me and Sev have, uh, we have been on Castaways together, we were on Imperial together, Bloodlines. If you haven't checked that out before, uh, those are some of the series that we've collabed together uh, before. And honestly, I mean, there will always be a collaboration with Sev in the, in the future. Sev is a really, really good homie of mine. I love Sev to death. Sev, if you're listening, shout out to Sev, honestly. So funny. There's sometimes like Sev will say stuff that is just like so out of pocket, but like in the funniest way. And like, she cracks me up. I like actually makes me cackle. Oh wait, I need some coal, because I'm going to make a couple of campfires. Anyone else love when cats get the zoomies? Oh my gosh, yes. <clears throat> it kills me. It's so funny. They're just trying so hard, you know? They're running around with just like, they're just so busy. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? When your cats can't even jump over the kid's stair gate, uh, we may... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but oh, poor thing. So clumsy. Aw. It's funny, Ruth is like, she's clumsy. I think she's clumsier than most cats. Like, <clears throat> she can jump up onto stuff like pretty much okay. So Sorry, I'm just gonna clear my throat really quickly. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit, but Ruth can like jump onto stuff like pretty okay, but like walking onto things, she's genuinely not good at it. Like she's falling everywhere. If she's like trying to crawl from like, or walk from the table like onto your leg and they're like next to each other, she'll fall. You named your puppy Dora. Dora's a great name for a pet. I love that, it's so sweet. Sev is just wild? No, exactly. Sev is so wild. She's so funny though, honestly. Actually cracks me up. You, ne you never know, you never know what she's gonna do. You don't know what you're gonna get with Sev, but I mean that like in the best way possible because she is actually so funny, chat. So fun to hang out with. I was watching her the other day and you popped up in her video. I was so shocked. Oh yeah, I, I kind of love it when, um, some of like some of you haven't seen like some of our collaborative videos and it's like a nice surprise for you all you know that's awesome i love that i'm gonna break this pretty quickly let's do maybe like that yeah okay 
Okay, golf games person? I love golf games. Me and Big Tiny Duck got on a Mario golf kick for a while. It was, it was brutal, but in the best way. Like we were really into it. We couldn't stop playing. It was hilarious. Such a fun game though. <clears throat> All right, let's get a couple campfires. What are we doing today? So today we are just finishing up our uh, little logging area right here. Pretty much like, honestly, I've got most of the detail that I want on it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and then we're just kind of gonna, gonna kind of hang out and do uh, just some like base maintenance and stuff like that. Just vibe. It's supposed to rain here in Toronto. I don't, I'm kind of concerned that it's gonna be like a bad thunderstorm. So I don't know how long stream is gonna be. I'm a little bit worried the power is going to go out because I heard like a big old, like some big thunder earlier. And I was like, what the heck? I was not expecting that. It's pronounced dys dyspraxia. I think I got it. I want a Rottweiler I found for adop adoption called Zonk. Okay, that's an amazing name. Sweet, sweet Zonk. I love that name. It's so cute. All right, I think that's looking pretty good, chat. Let's take a quick little look-see here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now that there's like a little bit more texture in place, it looks a little bit more complete. You know what I mean? I think we've got ourselves a proper logging mill. Look at this. We've got all of our like little botany section for the trees. We've got the upstairs. I really like the upstairs too with like the banister. We've got like a gallery wall. We've got like a little storage area. It's super cute. It turned out really nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Me likey. All right, so that's done. I wanted to add a little bit more detail to this area today as well, because the outside of it is looking pretty good. It's just the inside of it is looking kind of bare. I want stuff in the corners, like maybe we could do like a little wagon or something like that. We talked about that last stream. I feel like a wagon would look good here. Some piles of logs and stuff. So I feel like we could get started on that. I'm just going to start chopping down a couple of these trees just to get like a little bit more wood as well. Oh, stream elements. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for popping in. <laughs> oh my gosh. So late. So late. It's been like 41 minutes and it just uh, finally just popped up. Amazing. My cat Nettie gets violent, uh, gets really happy. She violently flops and rolls around, which usually results in her flinging herself off the couch. Oh my gosh, Ruth does that too, where she like fights with her own tail because she can't control it. So funny. What's my favorite song to use in videos? Ooh, that's a good question. Honestly, I think it just depends on the series because there's actually like so many, um, there's so many good uh, songs because I, I use Epidemic. Uh, I have a su subscription for Epidemic and that's what I've always used for my videos. And they have like a really good library that will honestly give you like pretty much any genre. I don't know. That's tough. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been I've been using Epidemic since like I think since like I've started this channel not sponsored by them or anything, just literally have been using them as a loyal customer for like, like three or four years now. If you like golf games, there's this game for mobile. It's called Nico Golf. I'll have to check it out. I love a good, good classic golf game every once in a while. Thunder in February, right? That's what I was saying. I was like, this is kind of concerning at this point. Like, what the heck? <clears throat> you want to go back to Toronto in May? Oh my gosh, Ian. Ian, what are you going to do in the big T.O.? Aren't you, I, I feel like I remember you talking about how you were traveling to uh, somewhere within Canada as well. I think I remember you talking about that. 
Listen, Canada's got some really beautiful spots. I feel like I have not explored enough of Canada, though. All right, I'm going to get those bundles ready with like where you bundle it with like the rail carts. <laughs> Hit the wrong button and started watching a vid you did with Blockdown and I was like, this is such an odd stream. <laughs> what? That is so funny. You're like, why? Why is she not interacting with anybody? What is happening? That is so funny. Yeah, stream elements have become like a meme. You're gonna place hanging signs like that? Yes, as long as they're like next to like an actual like, I think like log, you can pretty much hang them like that. Isn't it cool? Super cool little uh, like banister feature. Julia, welcome on in, how you doing? Yeah, the thunder in February is like really throwing me off, chat. Really throwing me off here. Oops. Okay, I think this looks kind of cute. I like that. We could get some leaves in between and some lanterns or something. Maybe like a little lantern here. Yeah. Can also do like a little saw beside it or something. I think I also have like an extra supply of, uh, what's it called? Those saw things. Why can't I think about it? Think about it. Think of it. You'll know what I mean when I, when I go grab it. My, I'm having a brain fart right now, chat. <clears throat> I was surprised that the UK hadn't had thunder yet and we have everything but thunder. Have you even gotten some like snow and stuff too? Or just like every like rain thing? You got the lightning. Well, you wouldn't have lightning without thunder. Never mind. I retract what I said. <laughs> my brain chat, my brain. AJ, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, it's kind of wild to me that y'all, like UK peeps get like thunderstorms er, like any time of the year. For us, it's like we've gotten these weird like s snow thunderstorms i think we had one last year it was really bizarre and it like it doesn't look natural apparently they're like very rare phenomenons and like we got one last year and it kind of scared me not gonna lie okay well i don't even have that thing that i needed the storage and workbenches all right well i'm gonna grab stone stone i'm gonna grab some stone i'm gonna grab a little bit of iron and I'm gonna make it's a stone cutter. <laughs> I could not think of the word for the life of me. The stone saw cutty thing. Oh my gosh, I want Mojang to please make one for wood. I need cheap trap doors. I love to use Adriel Flair music as it's really chill and fantasy. Adriel Flair's such good uh, music. I use that a lot in Bloodlines, I think, because it was just like the perfect vibe. It was very like whimsical and stuff, you know? I'll say it before anybody else says it. Classic drift. So true. So true and deserved. You had a tornado recently? Oh my gosh, that the the threat of tornadoes was something that really scared me as a kid even though i mean to be fair in ontario tornadoes can happen and there have been some bad ones but for the most part like if you live kind of close to the city it's not much of a a threat i would say but when i was little i was very concerned about the possibility of a tornado so i think because i watched twister too much when i was little i watched that movie like far too much anybody else see twister <laughs> anybody else see that movie twister i should re-watch that movie see if it actually holds up thank you with elza welcome on in how you doing
Here I thought this was just a video upload, not a live stream. Wayward, welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. Oh, there's the stone cutters I was looking for. Jeez, classic. Classic drift, am I right? Let's get... I need a couple chests as well. It's a good thing I made a ton of spruce. And some barrels would look really nice. Let's make a couple of chests. There we go. And then let's have a little snack. KD, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. Hope you're doing well. You have like five on record for tornadoes. Yeah, they're pretty rare here too. Oops. Actually, let's do this. Something like that. Perfect. Then we'll get like another lantern there. And I need a couple spruce leaves. I was gonna put these around, see if I could hang them anywhere, but they literally, like quite literally have to be hanging, I think, so it doesn't really work. That's okay. Twister legit caused me to have nightmares with tornadoes and I still get them from time to time. Same. Literally same. When I was, I mean, I think I still have like a very overactive imagination, but like that was like a very prominent trait of mine when I was younger was like overactive imagination. And I would stress about like the possibility of like tornadoes and stuff. Whenever it rained, I remember like looking at my parents, like they were just like, during bad thunderstorms, they would just be like vibing. They'd be like, oh, the power might go out. And I was like looking at them in anxiety being like, don't we have to go into the basement? Like, why is nobody panicking about this? Like, why is nobody running towards the basement? Honestly, if I told them that now, they'd probably laugh a lot. And they'd be like, come on, <laughs> what's wrong with you? In Northern Sweden, it starts snowing in the end of October. Oh my gosh, listen, I love snow, but that's that's a long winter. That's a long haul. 90s disaster films were a whole mood and that mood was climate change anxiety. Oh my gosh, boy, oh boy, absolutely. Absolutely, all those films caused me extreme stress when I was little. Lots and lots of stress. I feel that. Uh, let's make a couple of oak trapdoors. I'm gonna make like a wagon now. We deal with earthquakes and atmospheric storms here. That's, see, that sounds really, like really scary, honestly. Very, very scary. I was talking to, I think, um, Brooke about uh like earthquakes because it's common where she is and I was like a little bit this is very high I am not meaning to do this um we we're talking quite a bit about that and I was like dude I if I lived in a place that had like earthquakes like that I don't even I'd be beside myself like I would not know how to handle that and she was like, I don't know, like, it's scary, but it's okay. And I was like, what do you mean it's okay? It's terrifying. Gotta get back to work, but I'll keep you, uh, you on in the background. Oh, Angie, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope work goes well. After watching Jumanji at the cinema when I was eight, I couldn't go upstairs on my own because we had this huge shelving thing in our bedroom that I always could see a stampede coming out of it. Oh my gosh, Jumanji. That movie was like... Yeah, that's another one that kind of fueled, like, the, uh, the anxiety with, like, active imagination anxiety, I would say. That's definitely one that was like, whoa, there's a lot going on here, and I'm scared. I remember the dude that, like, chased them. I forget, I don't even remember what actor it was. I th I think I realized after it was like a pretty, um, pretty like prominent actor who played that guy, the one, 
I don't even remember who it was. Was he like a colonel or something? It scared me so much though. That dude was terrifying. But also like, wasn't it like his dad at the same time? It was just like an interpretation of his father in some sort. Oh, geez, that movie. That movie. We have like three months of summer, uh, but in U um Umia, where I live, we don't really uh, get spring. The flowers start blooming while there's still like snow left. Interesting. Interesting. Listen, I never thought I'd be this person, but like I'm kind of like itching for spring now. I'm not like a huge like I love snow, but this year has not been snowy. It's just been very um, it's been very dry no snow and just like very gloomy like you don't really we haven't really gotten much sun and i think it's just been making me like a little bit sad and i'm like i, I think i could tolerate this more if, it, if there was snow but there's nothing chat there's nothing and i'm just like i kind of just want spring now i want to get over this you know not into it Movie night when? I know, I know. There's so many, like, good movies we could watch, including and not limited to School of Rock and also Camp Rock. That was, like, another kind of, like, trend. Like, very, um... For, like, kids' movies. Rock and roll oriented, I would say. You were also like this as a child during any, uh, tornado warnings you'd hide? See? You get it. You get it. I'm sorry we were all like this. But honestly, it doesn't even shock me that we were all literally the same like this. You watch Twister literally all the time as a child. Now I'm terrified of storms. I live in South G uh, GA, so tornadoes happen often here. Oh my gosh, it just fueled like an anxiety. What, what was up with all of us watching Twister when we were, like, way too young to be watching Twister? What is that? Why did we do that? Earthquakes sound scary. I cannot. Same. I've, I've like, experienced maybe a minor earthquake, if anything, uh, in Ontario. Like, they do happen every so often. But I've never experienced, like, a true earthquake. And I feel like it would absolutely just, like, terrify me. So scary. There we go. That's looking good. The Jumanji remake and the sequel are my comfort movies. Okay, I saw the first one. And I actually really enjoyed it. Like, I, I didn't think I would because I was like, oh, no, they're modernizing a classic. And then I was like, you know what? This, this one was actually pretty good. I think the cast is what, like, made it so good. Camp Nowhere. I don't think I've seen Camp Nowhere. Ooh, Mean Girls. Has anybody seen the Mean Girls, like, the musical remake movie? I actually really enjoyed it. I thought, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Juxtra, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, honestly. Honestly. I think we're all drawn to this game because it's such a comfort game. <laughs> you love Twister, the movie, and the ice lolly. Are you talking about, okay, they're called cyclones here. They're like blue raspberry, lemon, and cherry. And they're almost like a sorbet texture. Like I wouldn't even say they're like fully like a popsicle. They're kind of like, yeah, they're like a sorbet texture and they're so good. Those are still one of my favorite uh, sweet treats. Would you love to attempt a massive custom village project like It's Marlo did? Oh, absolutely. I really want to do a village transformation. I was going to do one for my 100 days, but I ended up doing a different idea instead. 
So that's kind of been tabled at the moment, but a, a village transformation is definitely on the table. Also, Marlo is such a talented builder. Big shout outs to Marlo. I love, I love his content. I think in the back corner here, we have enough space for like a lean to or something, you know? So we've got our wagon here. We've got a bunch of space back here. So I could do like a, like a big old lean to or something. <coughs> Sorry, my, my voice is going again. I might need to refill my water soon. Anyone else watch Dante's Peak? Oh my god, okay, I haven't seen that movie since I was like very young. So it's so much of a blur for me, but I do remember it evoking a lot of fear within me because that movie was like, was definitely scary. I think I just ended up watching way too many movies that were arguably like too mature for me when I was younger, like um, like scary movies and stuff because I had older cousins and an older sister and obviously like I wanted to fit in with them and I was like let me watch too so I'd end up watching like really scary movies at such a young age my imagination was totally overworked I remember watching this scary movie a long time ago called it was called dolls and it was about like a bunch of dolls in like a mansion that had like become almost like sentient and they like took over and they were like super evil. And from then on, I was terrified of porcelain dolls, literally so scared of them. I had one in my room and I remember I was really afraid of it. And <laughs> I eventually like had to get my mom to move it out of my room and into hers. I was like, I can't deal with it being here. Also love how I like threw my mom under the bus with that doll. Cause if it was like a sentient porcelain doll, then she in fact would have been haunted by it, not me. I was like, sorry, mom, you got to take one for the team here. Can you put this in your room? Because it's really terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Classic. My sister was uh, terrified of E.T. I think that's a common fear amongst kids, though. Um, E.T. was hers that she was really scared of. And subsequently, I became afraid of it because I was like, if my older sister is afraid of E.T., then obviously I need to be afraid of E.T., and then I recently rewatched that film. Uh, she still can't even, she can't even look at a picture of E.T. without like getting scared. I mean, fair enough. He is kind of scary looking, but I recently rewatched it and it's a beautiful film. I was like shocked. I mean, I shouldn't be shocked cause like it's, it's a classic, but you know what I mean, chat. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I didn't realize it had like the tone that it did. And like, I don't know, it's just like a really, Really nice film to watch. <clears throat> do, does anybody remember the movie Mannequin? No, I don't. I do not. Moon, welcome on in. Sentient dolls. We're talking about things that scared us when we were little. And porcelain dolls was one of my fears because I watched the movie Dolls at like too young of an age. It was about like killer porcelain dolls. Very scary movie. Your mom had around 30 porcelain dolls. I would never go into her room. I feel like it's like, even without that movie, there is something that's like a little bit unsettling about them. You know what I mean? I feel like those are the types of things where you either love them or you really don't like them. It scares my friends, but we're besties. See, here we go. Perfect example. <laughs> scares my friends, but we're besties. You're both like, I'm picturing you, like your friends, like cowering in fear and running away and you're like fist bumping the doll. <laughs> what about the Chucky movies? I feel like that's what made a lot of people scared of dolls. Yes, Chucky was another one. Oh my gosh. That's another movie that we watched recently. Like I rewatched into adulthood and I was like, you know what? This movie kind of slaps. Like this is a, this one's pretty good. I mean, he's terrifying. And like the, some of the scenes, like for the 90s, I was like, wow, this is like pretty, pretty wild. You're working on a mega base interior while watching this cool vibes. Heck yeah. I hope that's going well. Hope that's going well. Actually, no, I want this to the edge. 
your boyfriend's afraid of ET. You can you can tell him that <laughs> it's completely fine because Drift's sister is also terrified of ET. <laughs> you can let him know it's okay. He's not the only one. You know what? I get it. Like I said, I do understand it. Now I gotta look up a uh, mannequin because you all are talking about it. You should see Mac and me. Oh my gosh, Nicholas. My, I remember, I remember the day my dad, like, was it? Yeah, he rented it for us. And that movie scared me so much. So, so much. But it was also one of those movies that scared me. But then also I was like, can I watch it again? <laughs> I don't know why. I was so scared by it. But I was like, um, any chance we can rent Mac and me again? And I remember my sister being like, I don't know about this movie. Not sure about this one. And I was like, I know, but it's kind of good. <laughs> that one, yeah, that one is, uh, I would say that's nightmare fuel. It's just like the way, like, the way that the, um, what would they be called? They're not animatronics. Puppets? Are they puppets? They're just like very unsettling in that movie. There's just like something not right there, you know? Not right. Just woke up. Nice, nice. Hope you had a good sleep. The first time I saw it, I thought E.T. was cute. Guess that was <laughs> I was quite the unusual kid. You know what? I can see it now. I can see it now. I was just like, I was scared because my sister was scared. I, I followed the path of my sister. Oh, Jurassic Park. That was another one that scared me. That one was terrifying, but like in a good way. That one was good, you know? But I remember watching that as a very young age too. I think it like fueled my fascination with dinosaurs though. Yes, Azzy, you remember Mac and me. Oh my gosh, yes. You had it on VHS. Oh my gosh, yeah. I That was one that we definitely rented. So funny, chat, that you all remember these. I'm obsessed. I see that in McDonald's, too. Remember when they go to, like, when they go to the restaurant, they're, like, doing that big dance there? Interview with the Vampire is one that I'd never seen. <clears throat> I really wish I had, though. I, 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 it's on my list. I heard it's really good. I heard that's like a, a classic that needs to be watched. The Last Unicorn. Yeah, that one was scary too. Does anybody remember Princess and the Goblin? Goblin. Goblin. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 that song from it? That movie scared me, but I like would insist on watching it all the time. Like it was really creepy, but there was something like so cool about the animation. So I like, I always wanted to watch it when I was little. That one was a good one. Need some more plant pots. Ah, here we go. If you watch something scary, go watch Kane's Pixels, the oldest view here on YouTube. Okay, you got, you got to DM this to me. So I remember you got to DM this to me. What kind of vibe are we talking about here? What is it? Pet Cemetery was in Pet Cemetery was like one that I really wanted to watch and never got the chance to. Like I always saw it at the video store and I was like, oh, I want to watch this. And my mom was like, you are not renting that. You are not renting that one. I miss renting movies. <laughs> so random, but like I really do miss it. Mom, and welcome on in. How you doing? Ooh, 12 monkeys. Okay, 12 monkeys. This is such a random tidbit of information about 12 monkeys that is so irrelevant to everything. But when I was um, younger, I hadn't watched 12 monkeys, but my dad had rented it. And he was like, for some, my dad is notorious for just falling asleep. Um, 
when he's like watching movies he just cannot stay awake and guess what i now have that trait i have that trait now great amazing so i never see the ends of movies he tried to watch 12 monkeys like i not even kidding like 20 times but he could not make it through he absolutely could not make it through 12 monkeys no matter how hard he tried no matter like he literally had on a, like on multiple occasions he rented it multiple times and we were like stop trying to watch this movie because you're never gonna finish it like you've done this like three times already and he's like yeah but like the beginning's amazing and we were like yeah but like you're not watching it you keep falling asleep the amount of times we rented 12 monkeys and he never finished it and i'm sure if i brought that movie up to him today he'd be like i have no idea what you're talking about what is that what is 12 monkeys Arachnophobia. I don't think I saw that one, but I remember going to see Eight-Legged Freaks, I think. That's what it was called. The one about like the big mutant spiders. My sister, my poor sister is terrified of spiders and she went to go see that with her friends. I remember she was like, I hated it. Wayne, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Oops. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just kind of trying to make like a little bit of an edge on the paths. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a wee little one. Paranormal activity movies scare me to death. Okay, Moon. So we watched... What did we watch? Oh yeah, we watched those um, Hell House movies, right? terrified me like i'm not even kidding i still have nightmares about those movies it's i'm like i've never been super afraid of clowns but that movie has made me very afraid of clowns now um and next on our list my friends are insisting they're like can we please rewatch paranormal activity and big tiny duck really wants to as well and i actually like told them i was like i've got to be honest like i actually don't know if I want to, because those movies scare me so much. I remember watching those. I remember seeing those in theaters. I couldn't sleep for weeks when I watched them. And I was like, I actually don't know if it's worth it at this point. And I even told them, I was like, the only way I'm going to watch this movie is also if we don't watch it at my house. Like we had like we're going to my friend's house and we're watching it there because I just cannot deal with it. And they're like, please, come on. We need to watch Paranormal Activity. I'm like, no. Also, I'm building an outhouse if anybody's wondering what I'm doing. I think every little like tree chopping area, you need an outhouse. But if you gotta go, you know? If you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, I heard Killer Clowns from Outer Space, although it has a goofy name, is a scary movie. Every Thursday, I used to have a store called Video Box, and they used to have a thing called Rent a Video for Free Day. So we always used to walk to get a VHS tape and uh, order pizza. Wasn't that the best? Wasn't that the best? I honestly truly miss that a lot. I miss that so much, chat. Or like for the weekend, your parents are like, all right, you can, you can, um, you can rent a video game of choice. This is a really big outhouse. I think I need to go trim this by one block. Actually, mm, probably fine. Yeah, yeah. Just need to put a door on it. When I was little, I was terrified of the Snow Queen from Narnia. That's another thing where you're like terrified of certain aspects of like movies that aren't scary. When I was little, I was terrified of that furnace in the first Home Alone. I think you all know which one I'm talking about. But I remember whenever that would come up on screen, I'd have to like shield my eyes. I was so scared. Let's put this, I think it would make more sense in the middle, possibly. Yeah, I feel like 
trimming this to look better. Anyone watch Misery? Oh boy, oh boy, I've seen Misery, and let me tell you, that movie is really scary. What's what's the actress's name in that movie? I mean, she's incredibly talented. So talented, but also so terrifying in it. I forget her name. You read the book, it's worse? That's what I heard too. I heard the book was somehow worse. Wild. The furnace in Home Alone was horrible, wasn't it? It was so scary. I think now like there's like a little bit of like residual scariness to it. Like I still get a little bit, just a little bit creeped out when I see it, you know? You got nice designs. Oh, Wayne, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Catherine Bates, yes. Catherine Bates. Honestly, though, okay, Sophia, you say Olivia Coleman. I feel like if they did a remake of Misery, Olivia Coleman would be perfect for that. I feel like she would actually be so perfect for the part. Like, at that point, it would be like almost like an obvious casting choice, you know? There we go. Y'all got me to watch movies all day. Same. I haven't watched, um, like we watched a bunch last weekend. I just haven't had time to watch movies, uh, for like the past week and a bit. We've also been rewatching Broad City, which is like taking up a lot of time. Uh, but it's still like a great show to watch, but I need to, I need to watch some movies this week. <clears throat> Misery was nothing compared to The Mist. I don't think I've seen The Mist. What is that about? Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. There we go. That's who it was. Chat. It sounds like we've all had very similar, like, <laughs> like childhoods and stuff growing up. If you like Jumanji, you probably like Zathura too. And the robot terrified me as a child. And it was my brother's favorite movie. And we always had to watch it. Classic. Classic. I remember seeing Zathura advertised, but I think I was like just that tad bit too old where I was like, I don't want to watch this. And I'd probably like it now, though. Yeah, Olivia Coleman is like fantastic in everything. Like pretty much everything she does, she knocks it out of the park. There's something I watched her in recently and it was like a, a shock to see her there. I forget what it was, though. Or I was like, oh my gosh, Olivia Coleman, I wasn't expecting to see you. And then she just played such a good role. Y'all have to check out The Mist. The Shining, such a classic. Oh my gosh, yes. I used to watch that movie a lot. It was my dad's favorite movie. So when I was a little bit older, we would always watch it together. Such a good one. I'm just making a toilet. I think I gotta get a sink too. We've got iron for that. What about tripwire though? Probably make that. How do you make tripwire? Oh, easy. All right. Yeah, New Age Jumanji's good. Space version of Jumanji, yeah, I got, I gotta watch it. I've gotta watch it. I feel like that it's one of those movies that's kind of become a classic. I've got, I've watched James Bond Skyfall the other day. I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Bond 007 for not folding like a cheap camping chair in front of Javier uh, Bar Bardem's villain. I actually have not seen that, but that sentence is hilarious. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. 007, you know? Makes it sound as though you saw just saw Olivia Coleman at the coffee shop. Listen, if I saw Olivia Coleman at a coffee shop, I'd probably pass out. I wouldn't even know what to do. I I would just immediately pass out. Oops. No, no, no. Flusher goes on top. And then we'll have a sink there. 
Honestly, this is an outhouse, though. I feel like this should be a pit. I feel like this should be a secret pit that leads into a lair. Should we have a secret toilet lair? You know what I mean? I don't know where it would lead to, though. I hear the rain, by the way, chat. It is... There's lots of rain outside. Stephen King is my favorite author. Only two screenplays I dislike were Night Shift and Sleepwalkers. I don't think I read enough Stephen King. I think I maybe read one book when I was like arguably like a little bit too, too like I wasn't mature enough to understand it. So it kind of like flew past me, you know? Seen a bunch of it, like the movie adaptations though. Netflix made a TV show version of The Mist. The old woman from the church turns into a moth. What? Okay, I need to check this out. <gasps> Tremors! Tremors is great. Oh my gosh. I that it was my first time watching that this year. It had always been on my list. Cause it fell under one of those movies that was like a cult classic. And do y'all remember that like point in like the early or like early mid 2000s, I would say? Where like it was really cool to watch cult classic films. That was one that like my friends always talked about and I never saw. And I recently watched it because Big Tiny Duck told me to. She's like, bro, you've never seen Tremors? Like, this movie was made for you. And we watched it, and I was like, oh my gosh, how did I not see this before? It was so good. <laughs> how would you react when... If you saw Dwayne The Rock Johnson at a restaurant, I would go, I would do a double take like this. Huh? Is that Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Eating at the same restaurant as me? Well, that must mean it's good then because Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if he's eating it, then you know it's good. Huh? And then I'd be too scared to approach him. The pit would lead to Christmas Village and the tragic memories of Sham Wow. So true. So hitting too close to home, Jody. Come on, what if we had like a little panic room in there? A panic room in the toilet. Wouldn't that be hilarious? We could do like a little trap door with like a button. So you press it and then you like fall in there and it's like a little sneaky base. Wouldn't that be fun? I feel like that would be very fun. Dwayne would throw you that look and the vine boom sounds would play in your head. Wait, what vine boom sounds, huh? The huh? Okay, what if we did like an iron trap door? Hear me out. And like a button, right? Just a cheeky little button. If I have stone on me. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what button it is. And then like... I heard a zombie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could- I don't think I could approach somebody either. I think I'd be too scared. I'd be like, I don't want to bother you. Okay, this is perfect. Oh no, it's not perfect. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, what if I- instead of doing Iron Trap Door, I just do like the OG... Oh my gosh. That's a- that's a big pit. What if we did... Just like a regular oak trapdoor that I could fall into. All right, let's do that. And then we could do like kind of walls. Maybe we'll go moody. For some reason, I've decided that I'm making a secret toilet layer. <clears throat> Met a popular German comedian at McDonald's once and he looked so tired. Being a fan's cool, but these celebrities deserve a break too. Yeah. I feel like that's like one of those things where yeah, if you could see like they're it's like they're almost having like a rough time. It's like I will I will respect seeing you from a distance, my friend.
Favorite wood type? I would say favorite wood type, oh my gosh, is... If I fall into a pit here, okay, I'm good. Oh, look at that, it's like a nice lookout. This could be like our little way into this cave system too. Um, favorite wood type, hmm. I would say spruce, always. But honestly, like, I think each wood type just like has its strengths, depending on the build. But spruce is like a classic for like, um, like structurally. You can't go wrong with using it for like beams and stuff, to be honest. <clears throat> How did Wingstop end up? Oh my gosh, so good. So good. I really like that place. I'm so happy we got it in Canada. We had it like, I think a couple times over the past couple weeks. I usually get the like honey garlic and like medium buffalo. Secret toilet layer sounds like something a Nickelodeon villain would have. Literally. I guess I'm now a Nickelodeon villain, though. I kind of- my voice sounds like a Nickelodeon protagonist, but in fact, I am the Nickelodeon toilet villain. That's me. The panic toilet needs a throne, literally. I think we need to like build out like a throne room in here though, you know? It leads to like a very like lavish secret base. This is nice. I've got like a nice view, you know? Oh, the respawn spot. I'm crying. That is so funny. Oh, yeah, Wingstop was pretty good. I like Wingstop every once in a while. It's good. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Wingstop in game. Okay, chat. On Friday on Twitch, we created this um this build called the Wingstop. That is actually hilarious that I like so earnestly answered you that way. Um but we created this uh build called the wing stop because I died at spawn and I had to like trek back to my base which was like at least like a good thousand blocks took forever and then I had to like go back to the raid I was doing it was awful so we're creating this spot where I can like suit up with an elytra get out of there quickly and then um and then like kind of carry on with my life at the base but I mistaken it for I thought you meant how was wing stop because I did have that recently too <laughs> That is so funny. Chloe, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. How you doing? All right, what if we did like... Do I have any more terracotta? I feel like a cool pattern to like terracotta wall would be nice. Make this all fancy, you know? You have a cool voice though? Thank you. I appreciate it. Apathy, welcome in. So nice to see you. How you doing? Ah, oh, I'm stuck. All right, I'm gonna see if we have terracotta because I want to do like almost like wallpapered walls, like st striped walls. And then I think I'm gonna do like a checkered floor of some sort. I was so proud of you, Drift. You only screamed continuously for half the journey home. I tried so hard. I'm so happy. Thank you for being proud of me. It was very hard. <laughs> I literally almost died like five times getting home too because I was so hungry. I had no food. I'm getting so much better. Thank you. I know. I'm getting so much more confident. Watch. I'm going to die today. Classic. Do I have blackstone? Sure, I do. You know what? That could be nice, though. What about polished? We'll bring some deep slate with us, actually. And then terracotta. Oh, no. Chat. We have a conundrum. I kind of need more terracotta. 
Like, do I go venture for it? It's very far, though. I'm talking like if we went to venture for terracotta, we'd be gone half the stream, you know? But I mean, like we have, I've kind of just lined up another project for us. If I go get this terracotta today, next week we could begin building the secret toilet layer. Did you finish packing? Um, not everything yet. We got a lot more packed the other day. Uh, we got like all of like our records and stuff packed up. Just like things that we don't need anymore. We still have like kitchen stuff to do. Although Big Tiny Duck did like a couple things from the kitchen that we know we're not going to need. Like our like mixer and stuff. But we're still in that awkward in-between phase where we have to like kind of wait in order to be able to start packing more stuff up. But I feel so much better already. We got like a lot done this weekend and I'm like, okay, I actually do feel way better. I just hate that awkward in-between phase though, where it's like, I, I can't even pack up like half of my computer stuff yet. Um, because of course I need it still, like my setup and stuff. So until I get all of that stuff, packed away. I'm not going to feel like 100%. Soon though, I think. We need more height. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this room's a solid seven. I'm going to bring it over this way too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. I think five's fine. Just patch us up really quickly. Okay, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Do we have the shaders command here? I'm not sure. I think we might. We may. But yeah, the shaders are... Um, the shaders are... Turn off bloom. That's a big one. It makes everything super hazy. Tur crank up that saturation, chat. Crank up that saturation and vibrance. That's how you get like just like the super blue sky, the very rich greens, all of that. And also one thing I discovered recently was turn up your sharpness a bit on your shaders. They look very um, muddled if you don't. I, that was a recent change that I made like only a couple weeks ago because I was like, I, had, I was like in post, I kept having to sharpen the images of my thumbnail so much. And then eventually I looked into the settings and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like an actual sharpness setting and it made a difference. Ooh, add some like dripstone lava cauldrons and stuff. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like that. Wayne, we'll catch you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Also, Nitro, welcome on in. How you doing? And yeah, we're gonna have to fix up. Um, sorry if some of like the bot commands are not working today. Stream elements has been really weird on YouTube lately. Just got to dedicate the time to switch over and then we'll be good. Good to go, chat. All right, I'm going to drop some stuff off. I feel like I need a terracotta run. I need to make a run for some terracotta. We've got some time today. Yeah, we're, we're only live for an hour 32, so we've got lots of time today to do this. Dirt. Stones, cobble, wood, terracotta, more dirt, and then copper, storage. I think we're pretty much good. I'm going to have to get some more food before we go, though. Needs netherite? Honestly, I haven't even fought the dragon in this world yet, and I don't know if I intend to for a while. Kind of just vibing with uh, what we got right now. This is more of a slow-paced series. 
And um, honestly, if we do get to that, it'll be it'll probably be quite some time from now. Just wanted to stop by and say thanks uh, to your long plays. They helped me fall asleep many times. Oh, Danielle, thank you so much for popping in to say that. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. Yeah, we'll definitely get it sorted out soon, Azzy, for sure. All right, I'm gonna feed the cows a little bit and then we're gonna dip and go on a little bit of an adventure. Cass, we'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. After I feed the cows, we're gonna go for a quick little break chat. Here comes the thunderstorms. I can hear the rain too. It's wild. What the heck? It's February. Why no snowstorm? What's happening? I'm actually like concerned my power might go out too because they like the rain sounds pretty crazy right now. And I heard like some pretty ominous uh, thunder earlier. That ain't good chat. So many moo moos. So many. I like having a slower place world. Like, yeah, it's fun to go fight uh, dragon stuff, but it's like, just need to take it slow. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love, like, I love having different styles of play for like different things. You know what I mean? Like this world, I kind of like that it's more slow paced because it kind of makes me I don't know, approach the series a little bit differently, if that makes sense. But then it's nice in our like long term stream world where we do like longer term projects and also have more time. Then it's like nice to have wings and stuff, you know? Put your mic by the window. Honestly, if I could, I would. It's on a it's on a boom arm. And it's too far. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah, there's the thunder. When you start a uh, new world on 120, uh, 121, it's gonna be, it's gonna last years. Heck yeah. That's gonna be so exciting, especially cause you have so many projects mapped out, Azzy. You're gonna have so much fun. All right, how about we take a quick little break? Um, I'm gonna go refresh my water cause my voice is kind of messed up right now and I'll be back very, very shortly, chat. All right, go stretch your legs and stuff. Yo, what the heck? We got a big storm. Big storm. All right. We need to adventure a bit before we start any other project. I need some terracotta and maybe some sandstone, like the orange one. So we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. Yeah, I am, I'm a little concerned for the power. I was downstairs refilling my water and the light flickered a bit. I was like, oh no, oh no, not good chat. Oh, scary. So if we go this way, just like thousands of blocks, we'll hit a Mesa. Desert time, or should I say dessert time? We've been watching, um, okay, this is wild. We've been watching like a live stream on Netflix. Those are a thing now, who knew? Our friends told us to watch it. It's David Chang's cooking show. And he basically has guests on and like interviews them while he cooks for them. Pretty cool concept, but it's live, which is wild. It's so wild, anyway. He's been like making these desserts um, where it's literally a fried Krispy Kreme, like fried in a pan, just warmed up with ice cream on top. And I told BTD, I was like, instead of cake, that's what I want for my birthday. 
and we tried it and oh my gosh chat life-changing absolutely life-changing it's weird though because i thought that it would just like the sugar crust on it would just kind of like melt if that makes sense but it's tur it turned into like um like a hard like hard sugar like hard candy or something it's weird it like turns into like almost like strings of uh sugar it's so bizarre but it was so good mixed with the ice cream oh my gosh absolutely delicious I love some good stormy vibes. Honestly, like now that the the bad weather is kind of here this morning, I was like, it's so gloomy and dark. What the heck? But now that it's rainy, I'm like, I'm kind of vibing with it, even though it's weird that it's in February. Why not set up a mud conversion to clay spot? Get that passive background farm going. Honestly, very good idea. I just need to learn how to make one. Terracotta more like Terra gotta get more. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I don't even know if I've taken you all this far, to be honest. I've traveled this far on my own, like in a Let's Play episode, but I don't know if you've all come along with me to the Mesa here. It's quite far. And I'm not sure there's one closer, to be honest. You could check Chunk Base to see if there is. I might be wrong. But this seed is like kind of weirdly distributed, if that makes sense. What kind of ice cream? We went with just like plain old French vanilla ice cream. And you know what? It slapped. Make sure your devices are charged in case of an outage. Good shout. My phone, I just tapped on my phone to make sure because that is the usual suspect. My phone depletes so fast because it's so old. It's all good. Be nicer in the actual springtime because then I can look forward to plants and flowers coming back. Nah, agree. Agree. Right now, it's just like, what's going on? What is the next project? So on stream, we're going to be working on a secret layer where you fall into it via toilet. And in terms of uh, chill survival, like episode wise, our next project is going to be a super smelter and lava farm because I've been going through a lot of coal and it's it's become a little bit too much, you know? Ooh, you got tea? What kind? Oh, hello. Bye bye. You make it almost identically to the lava farm, except instead of lava on top, you make uh you make it the mud block, huh? Really? That actually sounds so much easier than I thought. I thought it'd be like difficulty in terms of like a tree farm would be, because I know those can be really complicated. I want to say I really appreciate your cozy long plays right now. 38 weeks pregnant and the cozy long plays calm my anxiety. All oh, glad. I hope everything's going well for you. And I'm, I'm so glad my vids are there to to help with the anxiety and stuff like that. Sorry you're going through it, but I hope hope everything's good. And of course, I hope the pregnancy is going well as well. Your streams help my... Uh, and content help my anxiety and sad stuff too. Oh, Chloe, thank, thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. I'm so, sorry you're going when you're going through it as well. But as I said before, chat makes me so happy that these videos are here for you all if, if you ever need them for that. What's everyone's favorite kind of tea? I like sleepy time tea. That's my favorite. That or like a spearmint. I like minty teas. That giant arch is so cool. Yeah, this area is actually... I haven't seen an area like this in a hot minute. I feel like I don't come across them as much as I used to. I think these are called like windswept hills or something like that. These feel kind of like a pre-118 thing. They're just, they just don't see as, seem as common anymore. And I actually really like this little biome. <gasps> Ow! Zowie. Zooey mama. My favorites are good chai, peppermint, or double bergamot earl gray. I haven't had 
Double bergamot Earl Grey. That sounds good. That sounds good. I like an Earl Grey too. I literally, I need to get back into drinking tea. For a while, we were in the habit of like having sleepy time tea before bed every night. Kind of fell out of it for some reason. I don't know why. I just, I think I just kind of stopped craving it a bit and then kind of forgot it existed. Oh, stream elements. So nice of you to pop back in. <laughs> I don't like tea hides cloud. I, I was in that boat. I was in that boat too. I totally understand it. For the longest time, <clears throat> I was like, it is literally just water, hot water with leaves in it. Who would like that? Meanwhile, I'm drinking coffee, which is just beans. Like, what the heck? But Big Tiny Duck helped me find the teas that I like, and it's mostly like herbal ones. Took me a long time, though, to understand it and like actually like it. But at the same time, Maybe you just might not ever like it, you know? It just might not be your thing, which is totally fine, too. I have a lot of friends who don't... Like, I love coffee more than anything. But I have a lot of friends who are... They're like, it's just not my thing. I get it, though. I get it. We're in an old growth birth, birch forest. I was just kind of, like, trolling around to see if maybe there's, like, an archaeology spot. <clears throat> I wish they made them a little bit more obvious. They're kind of hard to find, I'm not gonna lie. I think, like, the one that we found in our long-term stream world, I'm not gonna lie, we ended up, um... I think we had to chunk base it, because it was just, like, super inconspicuous. The Sleepy Time Bear is so me. The Honk Shoe Bear, absolutely me too. The double bergamot is just like an extra strong Earl Grey without the astringency that comes with oversteeping it. Oh, that sounds good. Me likey. Why not stream on Mondays? Because you're moving. Yeah, we had a bunch of stuff come up yesterday. Um, so I wasn't able to make it on time. So I figured I'd just push it back a little bit. Gonna try to keep like, if the schedule gets kind of messed up, I'd rather like do makeup streams throughout the week then just cancel them all together especially because like when we move like things are just going to be so busy and have to set up internet and stuff so I'm gonna try my best to just like keep the streams going i'm a barista that actually doesn't like coffee i feel like that almost helps you in a way because like then you're not like i need coffee 24 7 and you're like at at the place that sells the coffee you're like i don't even have to worry about this Constantly shunned by my co-workers. <laughs> Recommend doing 50-50 juice with tea. Like Arnold Palmer, but don't limit yourself to lemonade. That's smart, actually. I never thought to do that. Because, I mean, like, that's literally what iced tea is. Except Americans have different iced tea than us. Your iced tea is very bitter. We have, like, super sugary iced tea. I feel like it's, like, fake style. I remember, it was, or like, what is it called? Like sweet tea or something in the States? I remember when I went there on a trip once, like a school trip, and I ordered an iced tea. It was not what I was expecting. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I feel like I'd appreciate it more as an adult though. I knew today was Tuesday, and yet when I saw the stream, I panicked and I was like, wait, it's actually Monday. Honestly, fair. So fair, because we're actually, we've been like pretty consistent with streams and stuff. Ooh, you went to visit every tea room in your state and it's been lovely. I feel like that would be super fun. When you mean tea room, is it like, no, it's not like a classic like UK, like high noon tea thing, right? Do you mean like sampling like different types of teas and stuff? Because, like, the UK tea time thing is a bit different. That's where you get, like, biscuits and stuff, right? Oh, the smell of coffee. Yeah, I wonder, if people who don't like coffee, do you like the smell of coffee? Because that stuff is, like, so good. I've always loved the smell of coffee. When I was, like, a kid, like, very young, I used to, like, beg my mom to let me 
drink coffee. Actually, well, this is a great story. This is a great segue into a, the most embarrassing story of my life. But you can't say anything because I was only like four or five years old. When I was little, chat, when I was little, I liked the smell of coffee so much that I got a hold of like a coffee bean because I wanted to smell it. And my parents were probably like, ah, whatever. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I wanted to smell it. And I loved the smell of coffee so much that like I, I sniffed the coffee bean and it got lodged in my nose and literally like it wouldn't come out. <laughs> The coffee bean would not come out of my nose and my parents were like oh my god what have we done it was literally like jammed up there like they were like they were like trying to get me to blow it out when it would not come out it was jammed so they had to take me to the doctor and i remember the doctor like took an x-ray of my head and like you could see like the coffee bean just lodged way up in my nose just stuck there and they were like, okay, like we're gonna give it some time. And if it doesn't come out, like she actually might have to go get this surgically removed because it was too big to get it with tweezers. And I just had to live with this coffee bean in my nose. I don't remember how long, I'm too young to remember the details of it. But one day, I, I remember this, I was just like vibing. I don't know, just hanging out at home. And I sneezed really violently and the coffee bean came out. Yeah. I was a gross kid. I just really loved the smell of coffee though. Like I was, I was like a coffee enthusiast at like age five. What's wrong with me? <laughs> it was just so, I couldn't believe that. It was just lodged up there too. I just had to live with it for a couple of days. Like that was the solution. Also it was the 90s. So like who knows how they would have handled it today. Oh my God, a bead. Yeah, I feel like beads were common as well. So common. That's just like such a kid thing to happen. Like always like putting something up your nose when you're little. You used to like the smell when you were little. Now you don't like the taste or smell. You only drink it with milk. 70% milk and 30% coffee. Now I get that. I get that. It's not for everybody. It's It can be like very acidic, you know? And if you're not into that, like, totally get it. As a toddler, I got a raisin stuck in my nose. Oh my gosh. Did How did they get it out? Did they have to tweeze it out? Or did did you have to just live with it like me until you sneezed it out? Oh my gosh, Jody. Jody, I used to do. <laughs> What's wrong with us as children? I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same thing with. <laughs> I'm crying. I used to do the same thing. My parents would like if they saw me going for the glass, they they would literally have to run. They'd have to run and intercept me. They were like, no. They couldn't have it on like tables near me. <laughs> a quarter sized chunk of foam ball, urgent care had to get that one. Oh my gosh, I bet as a parent, like that is actually terrifying. So terrifying. Like, as a kid, you're just like, what, it's not a big deal. And as like, as a parent, you're like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only ones. We got some M&Ms, we got some foam balls, we got some... A rock. A rock sounds painful. You had to go to the ER and they managed to get it out. I imagine, like, that must be, like, a common occurrence at, like, an ER. Is, like, kids just, like, randomly putting weird items in their noses. Yeah, we're unpacking a lot this stream. All right, let's collect a bunch of this terracotta. Gotta get some orange, some regular. We've made it, chat. We finally made it. And we had so many travel stories along the way.
coffee isn't safe in my home, my two-year-old will do anything to take a sip. Oh my gosh. Hard relate. Hard relate. Just don't leave any coffee beans around them, okay? <laughs> don't want them to end up like me. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's like the smell of it is so good. And then as a kid, you're like, this must taste good, but then it doesn't. <laughs> I'm the oldest of nine kids. I've seen a lot, but not being able to get the phone piece out. I was up the whole night waiting for urgent care to open. Oh, I bet the stress for that would be unreal. Unreal. I'm glad they got it out, though. I had a piece of chicken stuck in my throat when I was in college and throwing, throwing up every two minutes. Oh, my gosh. They had to go under to get it out. That is a... Okay, that's like a actual fear of mine still. Because, like, eating chicken, sometimes you can get one of those, like, sneaky bones in there that you don't, like, realize are there. And then before you know it, you swallowed it by accident. Sky, you swallowed quarters. Oh, no. How, like, do you... With something like that, do you just have to wait for it to pass? Or is that, like, more surgically intensive? Oh my gosh, apathy, yes. The classic, like, graphite mark. I remember kids having that. You can do some serious damage. At work, we sell both chocolate-covered coffee beans and then the almonds and have to warn parents what kid grabbed the wrong one. Oh my gosh, yeah. No, totally. That'd be like... That wouldn't even be a caffeine kick. That would be a caffeine jolt. Honestly, even dark chocolate affects me sometimes. I remember I tried... It's like... Are they called like the Brookside chocolates? They're dark chocolate and then berries? Like dried berries? And I swear, like those things like give me the jitters. Because, like, I think dark, dark chocolate has, like, a little bit of caffeine in it. And I would just, like, eat a bunch of those and not feel great. moon oh my gosh legendary <laughs> i could not i simply could not brookside chocolates yeah they're super good but like if you eat too many of them that like caffeine kick will kind of mess you up your wife used to work for the distributor oh my gosh i bet that was like that was dangerous. Reminds you of the terrible TV show that used to be here in the UK and for some reason it makes you think of Grange Hill. I have wait, which which TV show is it like called Brookside? In Canada, in the US, it's a delicious chocolate. Don't eat too much though. High caffeine content. While we're here, actually, I'm going to start collecting some cactus. Because I don't have a farm yet. I mean, I could easily set one up, but I need a little bit more. Oh, gosh. Over from Wax, but he just died in his hardcore world. What? No. What? Hold on. Hold what? Also, we'll catch you later, uh, Kite. Thank you so much for hanging out. Is he on Twitch right now? No. 
Did he log off? Or is he on YouTube right now? Because his last stream was yesterday on Twitch. No! Chat, please do not tell me this is real. You got it secondhand from Maggie? Oh, it wasn't even live? Or was he was he at least streaming in on Discord? What? No. <gasps> it was on Twitch, apparently. What the heck? What happened? I can't see the... Oh, no. Rip, dude. Rip! No! Videos. His last one was yesterday. Unless maybe it's, like, hidden or something? Which I don't know why it would be. He just raided Maggie and broke the news. I wonder if he, it's like hidden for like video or content purposes because I can't see it or maybe it hasn't shown up yet. No rip, big rip. Um, chat, can we just get a moment of silence please for Wax Frauds Hardcore World? I've, I've got to be honest, that is one of my favorite Hardcore Worlds I've ever seen. Like, that world has so much life to it. It is so beautiful. He's worked so, so hard on it. That thing has been around for like, I don't even know. Well, since the, cause I think when he started the, it was Mangrove, right? Like 119 and then he died and then restarted. And then this was his other one. Wow, that's like, that's so upsetting. I know whatever he does next is gonna be incredible because it's wax, you know what I mean? Like, in a way, like, it's just like, well, I'm excited to see what he does next, but like, I'm also like very devastated because I really love that world. He puts so much life into all of them. And like, I don't know, that one's so special. Such a bummer. It is one of those things though, where it's like, yeah, it's hardcore, right? So at the end of the day, it, it could happen at any time. And it's always the most random thing that gets people in hardcore because it's like, I feel like it's just one of those things where you almost like let your guard down in a way. It's in the moments where you're just like kind of vibing. A year and a half. He did so much in a year and a half. He's just like so wildly talented. Oh sevens in chat for Waxy. Big oh sevens in chat. So, so sad. I hope, uh, I hope, I mean, I know what he's going to do is he's just going to take this as a new beginning and just make something just absolutely stunning with whatever he does next. But I mean, I'm sure it's rough, you know? Well, that world is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in Minecraft. Me too. It's so, his style is so unique too, where it's like, I just haven't really like, he just has such a specific style and a way of going about building where he does like, very like structured and like calculated builds but then he adds so many like organics to it so it's like everything's like super geometrical and then also like so organically beautiful and it's like such a fascinating combination you know the way i would just sit there and cry oh same same i would absolutely just like be like all right i'm just gonna take a day or two or maybe three May his new world have plentiful resources. Exactly. Exactly. He's off to the gym and doing a night stream. I should probably catch that tonight then. Honestly, I feel that though. Go to the gym, work out for a bit, clear your head, and then you're good to go. I wonder if he's going to restart on, on the night stream. The one that was over 9k a day, 900k. Is it 9k? Yeah, it'd be 9k, not 900k. You know what's wild? Yeah, I was just looking at his channel the other day and I saw that he had like 9,000 days. I was like, oh, dang, he's so close to 10,000. Like, that's wild. I 
I don't think I could play Minecraft for months after um, after something like that. See, I feel like it would just be like, yeah, I don't know. I feel as though I would have to like literally just take a, a quick little step back. Because that's the thing, like with hardcore, like you know what you're getting in through into, but like when you have a world for that long and then something happens, it's just like... I don't know. It's just like, I think you grow super, you're, you're obviously going to grow attached to it, right? Even though, you know, you signed up for hardcore, it doesn't mean it's not going to be easy just because you know what you signed up for. Especially when you have something for that long. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out his VODs or something after. See when that happened. Apparently it was a magma cube, Chloe. On the bright side, it's a good opportunity for people to get to watch one of his worlds from scratch. That's true, because I'm sure like so many people have like popped in throughout the series. So kind of seeing like a new beginning would be uh would be nice for some uh some viewers as well, right? Gotta look at things on the bright side as well, even though like and at the end of the day, it's like, look at what he's accomplished, too. Just freaking masterpiece, honestly. Even in a normal survival world, I have to take a break from a rough death. Death? Oh, I get that. Even, like, especially if you don't fully recover everything that you've lost. It's brutal. I think I would love to try hardcore one day, but I really have to think about, like, what I'd want to do. I play with keep inventory on. Um, no way I could do a hardcore world. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody, honestly. I love that they have like keep inventory on and stuff. It's just such a good feature. Like, I don't know. I still like really believe that Minecraft should be played how you want to play it. And just the fact that they have those options. It kind of sucks though that like they put that under cheats though. So then it kind of like, that word kind of sets the pretense where it's like, well, it's a cheat. But like, it's, it's not, it's a play style. It's like the same thing with having um, like your game on peaceful, you know? Like I, all of my long plays used to be peaceful just because it was like, if it's no commentary, then like I find that, I don't know. I just found that like the zombies and stuff were a little bit distracting. Now that I'm doing commentary long plays though, I like having survival on, but before it was like, I don't know. And I actually ended up really vibing with Peaceful. My only gripe was that you, I wish I could, like I had to like control my saturation level, like eating and stuff. That was my one gripe with Peaceful. Cause I like, cause I was like, what am I breeding cows for and stuff like that? Cause I don't, I don't have to eat them. Joseph and mom here watching from the UK. We loved your cherry wood build. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And welcome on in. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you for popping in. I need to build with cherry wood a little bit more. I really do. I appreciate the nice comments, though. Your full netherite set despawned and I was crushed. It only took me a month to get... Uh, it took me... A month to get back uh, another new set. Okay, that would crush me as well. Netherite is not easy to get. Not easy to get. Big rip. He lost his bet for finishing Rainbow Mountain. Wait, what was the bet? I'm like chatting with you guys, so I'm going to take a boat so I don't fall off cliffs, if that makes sense. There we go. Next idea for long play. So right now I'm working on the no or sorry, the with commentary island long play. And I do have two videos scheduled set to go. They're related to um, enchanting. So those are the next two. And then after that, I have a little bit of a bigger build planned for that island as well. 
I'd like to ideally just like build up that island as much as I can, even like getting some docks and stuff with like builds around the docks. I, I, I intend to like, whoa, this is a wild area. What the heck? I'm surrounded by mountains. Um, I definitely intend to get that, keep that series going for a while because I really like it. I love that island. It's super fun. I lost my first diamond set of armor and tools due to a uh, desert pyramid. Oh no, did you walk into the TNT? Those are the worst. And then there's always creepers in there too, always. He's making a new world. Oh my gosh. I need to watch the birth of the new world, honestly. If he didn't fish, he would have to, um, oh, do like gifted subs and stuff. I see, I see. The idea of cheating in Minecraft is so funny to me. Like by whose standards, the entire point of Minecraft is you could play however you want, unless you're in some sort of competition. No, exactly, exactly. Like, I get it if you're, like, um, kind of, like, selling a series as, like, you're, like, I am doing everything in hardcore mode and everything's legit. Like, if you're, like, absolutely stating that, like, everything's legit and if I die, I die. And then, like, somebody, I guess, like, cheats their way back out of a backup or something if they die. Like, I can see that if you're, like, setting parameters and not living up to that promise, but... For the most part, like you said, like Minecraft is an open concept game. So yeah, it's just like, there's not really such thing as cheating in a game like this, unless you're setting those parameters, right? My very first temple, my allays triggered the TNT. Allays, man, I can't get behind allays. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I can't get behind them. They cause too much destruction. I could never do hardcore. Losing a world I'd spent all my time on would crush me. No, I totally get it. I totally get it. That's the thing. It's like, Ozzy, like you say that and it's like, I feel like you would actually be fully capable of doing a hardcore world. Like you would have no issue of it. But like, it is that thing where it's like, well, eventually, like most hardcore deaths, they are like, they're a result of just like becoming very complacent because things like are just going so smoothly that like the, it'll catch you off guard. It's almost inevitable in some way, right? You're going to slip up at some point. And like, I get that. If like, that's like the reason you lose a world, it would just be crushing. We already went over what those dang LAs did to my cat. I know. What the heck, Chloe? I felt so bad for you. So bad. I'm having a lovely time just like traveling around this world. I don't, I said this before, but I haven't really explored lately because I really haven't had to outside of the base. Pretty much have like most of what I need. So it's nice to kind of like, I don't know, just see like what's around and stuff. Having a great time today with y'all. Boat chat, yeah. Good old boat chat. Definitely going the right way home. I think. Time to go pick up my little cousin from school. Stay safe and have a good rest of your day. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day as well. And I hope it all goes well. Time is flying by, chat. Oh my gosh, a squid. A squid! Let's go this way. Do, do, do. Ba -da bum. How on earth do you keep track of where you are? 
Okay, so, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, like, watch me get lost after I say this, but in general, I weirdly have a decent sense of direction. I mean, like... Honestly, if you get lost a lot, I really recommend uh, Zero's world map and mini map because you can make like um, waypoints and stuff on a map. Very handy. I have gotten lost before, but for the most part, like I kind of know the general direction of where things are in this world after I travel them like once or twice. And I kind of just clocked that I went like all the way up in a straight line and kind of around and now I just have to go back. But I do get that. I used to get lost a lot more in my... um other minecraft worlds like when i before i started making content i think because i would just like abandon them really quickly <laughs> and then i wouldn't know the terrain i used to i used to set up a base and then like literally not be able to find it after but i think it's because i've been in this world for a little bit longer so i kind of understand like what biomes i need to like hit and stuff the sky's darkened around me the air grows cold chip bag rustles <laughs> looking forward to a time where i can have my shaders my computer's too old oh i get that i get that i remember i um used to play on my old laptop and the shaders were like it looked scary chat it was not worth it and when i finally upgraded my pc it was nice rooting for you to get your uh your upgrade definitely rooting for you you build landmarks uh, with your coordinates and you still get lost. That's a really good idea, too. Yeah, keeping track of coordinates helps a lot, especially your main base. Like if you're um, looking at your coordinates to get home, as long as you know where they are, you can you can find your way through that, too. I think landmarks is a really cool idea, though. I like that. I think we're like way like so much closer to home than I think because we're at this plains now which is so weird it feels like it took forever to get to that mesa I think I took a long way around but I feel like getting home has been so much quicker <gasps> oh, oh my gosh I almost fell eh, it would have been water not a big deal I turned shaders on my laptop and it sounds like a Saturn V rocket. <laughs> That's on my laptop. It would get really hot too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crying. All right, I think this is our base. Flower forest, let's go. There's so much like cool spots around here that we could build stuff too. Good old flower forest. Yep, I see my little build. That was scary. Do a tutorial series on landmark building at some point. Can't stream because it rigs too old, but you could record content. Ooh, that would be really cool. That would be helpful for a lot of people too, eh? All right, we're home. Look at that. Home sweet home. We need to do like a lighthouse here or something, you know? So many builds, so little time. All right, let's get our stuff put away. Home sweet home. I'm going to start burning up some of this cactus, though. Uh, let's get a little bit of this put away. And then sand. Cactus. So much copper. That was from when I was building all of those like... Oh. Big thunder. Big thunder. That was when I was building uh, all the... Like the iron farm and stuff. Honestly, this will come in handy for later. Oh, I've got so much now. Nice. Love to see it. My cooling ring is I put an ice pack from the freezer under my laptop. Oh my gosh. What level do you 
strip mine diamonds at? Mine's at um negative 58, and I don't know if that's the best level. Yeah, I think I go I go to like the block above bedrock. And honestly, I find that um I find that diamond distribution's like a little bit wonky. Like I feel like you get kind of like less diamonds lately. I think they're changing that though for like one. 21 they're gonna distribute more diamonds especially because they're more useful now like you need them for templates and stuff so Ooh, can you make a stone statue <clears throat> in one of your worlds? Oh, yeah. I should try that in the uh, survival world, like our long-term one. I would absolutely love to. I'm not good at doing, like, organic statues. I would love to learn, though. <clears throat> and especially for, like, little details, like fountains and stuff. Is this Pizza Hut? Am I doing the Pizza Hut colors? Oh, no. Am I making an underground Pizza Hut by accident? I increased my render distance when exploring to try and find a cherry grove and my laptop was going through it, but it held on felt found the biome. Okay, that happened to me too. I think I was like trying to take a screenshot or something. So I did a really high render distance and then I went to play in the world and my computer was like, ah! It ended up figuring itself out, but I was panicking in that moment for sure. I feel like I find so many diamonds just finding a big open cave in deep slate somewhere. Agree. Big agree. I find that like I have more luck just like crawling through a cave and finding diamonds that way, honestly. Oh yeah, the BTD statue. We really need to. We must, right chat? Will you be building your now post birthday villager to lava interface device next stream? You know what, Jody? Yes. That thing was awesome. <laughs> next Friday. While we work on the uh the wing stop, we'll do that as well. <laughs> Go to chunk base and look for fossils that specifically say diamond fossil. It's not gonna give you the Y level, so you kinda have to trust and dig straight down. Wait, is it a fossil just made of diamonds? I remember somebody told me that fossils existed in this game and I was like, nah, no way. But they do. I had no idea. That's wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go here. Yeah, we have a queue of statues to do. First up, BTD. God, she's gonna be so happy having her immortalized in my world like that. Don't don't give her that chat. Don't give her that. <laughs> Is diamonds mixed with bone blocks? What? I need to find one. Okay, you know what we should do next stream on like this one? Or actually no, let's do let's do maybe on Twitch. Probably be a better Twitch stream. Um, we should try to find one of those fossils in the survival world, in the stream world. That'd be super fun. I've never come across one before. I mean, I've heard they're rare, but still. Azzy, I think uh, stream elements tapped out again. <laughs> I think it's gone. It tried. It tried and then like swiftly gave up. Uh, let's go. Ooh, what if I did? No. Hold on a second. 
My deep slate. I don't know what I did with my deep slate. Oh, there it is. It's back. I'm running out of uh, ideas for my builds in the long-term survival world. So far, I have a village, a mansion, a farmhouse, and some animal barns. Any idea for what else I could build? If you're into farms, I recommend, like, you could, like, kind of focus on expanding your farmland. So you've got, like, a space for, um, like, animal barns, right? But then you could add other, like, kind of adjacent farm stuff, like a sugarcane farm. Honestly, even if it was, like, not redstone you could still have it manual like i've seen wax he has one that's like outdoor and it has like strips of sugar cane this is this one's mine and it's like a little bit smaller but it does the job for like what i need like i'll never use any more sugar cane than this it took a while to build up but that's plenty enough for me so you could add like adjacent like types of barns you could do like a logging facility um and then if you're doing something like a little bit more industrial you could do like an iron farm Greenhouses are nice. Rip stream elements. I know. It's just like so on and off here. I don't know why. Ooh, a lighthouse or a windmill would be nice too. I love making windmills now. I used to be very like intimidated by making them, but now that I've kind of learned how to make like different styles of like blades and stuff like that, they're really fun. Said you were gonna get tea, but I've been laying in bed. Oh my God, me, me. Ooh, a watchtower is good. Swamps have the highest concentration of fossils. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into this for our next stream then. Because I would like to dig one up. See what it's all about, you know? Alright, let's get some stuff in here. Let's go polish deep slate. Let's make our little layer fancy. JJ, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, I think scattering like towers all throughout your base is always a good bet as well. Oops. All right, let's make like an like a fancy little floor or something, you know? What do we got here? Let's see. This is very satisfying, actually. Oh, look at, ah, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of, you know what? I might be able to salvage this though, hold on. I wanted it to be really goofy looking, but that's like almost like too goofy. I'm kind of thinking if we do like a trim just above that like wallpaper, it actually might work. It might work, chat. If not, I'm gonna have to get rid of one of the floors. The floors or the walls, we'll see. the heck oh there we go you have a fossil suspended in midair by natural generation i can share in the discord oh i would love to see that that's wild oops I 
I like it with a border much better. I still don't know if that's the answer for the flooring. Might be a little bit much. Yeah, it's kind of busy, right? Even if we separate them, it's just like too much. Like this is definitely giving Pizza Hut vibes, you know? And I don't think I want this to be like a Pizza Hut. <laughs> I can just do a different type of flooring. Honestly, like even like, um, mangrove would be nice. Dark oak. Favorite thing to do in Minecraft is collect all of the things and animals and blocks. You know what? I used to like not really be like super big on doing that. Like I never set out for it, but ever since we've done the cat one, I had such a fun time. And now I'm like, this is great. This is a good time. Like I get it. I understand the achievement hunting now, you know? I didn't fully understand it before. And then I, I kind of got into it recently and I was like, oh, can you get behind this? Green terracotta is your favorite. Me too. I love the green one. Yeah, we could do like a larger square or something on the floor instead. Or maybe we could just like make it. Honestly, just like classic spruce flooring. It's giving evil Pizza Hut. No, exactly. And I just don't think like that's the vibe that I want. Although that's like hilarious. I'm like, do we really want to be giving evil Pizza Hut vibes? I just don't know, chat. I just don't know. It's just, I just don't know. See, this is just too boring. That looks, that looks cheap. Maybe just dark oak. You know, keep it super classy. Your curtain saves all about achievement hunting. I have like, I, I get it now. I get it. Okay, here, here it is. This is the vibe. Simple, understated, but in a good way. Now this is like fancy pizza, pizza hut, you know? Fancy pizza hut. It's giving Freddy Krueger. It's giving Freddy Krueger. Wow, you're so right. And you know what? <laughs> it literally is. Oh my God, I'm never gonna <laughs> see that. I'm never gonna unsee that. I'm just gonna call this Freddy's place. Holy. <laughs> well, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It literally looks like... <laughs> I'm broken. Rip. <laughs> wow. Under different circumstances, if this was like around like Christmas time, I'd be like, it's giving Santa's workshop, but now it's it's just giving Freddy Krueger. Oh my god, this is hilarious. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. I don't want to change it. I don't want to change it for a thing now. Yeah, you literally broke me. That's great. <laughs> Freddy's lair. Oh my. Oh, I still have some more dark oak. Perfect. <laughs> can't unsee it. I can't unsee it now. Oh. God. Oh, God. Yijan, welcome on in. How you doing? That may have been the best observation I've ever heard. That's incredible. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely incredible. Well. <laughs> yeah, Freddy's Pizza Hut. Let's go. Freddy's Hut. <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? Once we have decoration in, it'll look less like Freddy Krueger and a little bit more like cozy Minecraft. <laughs> I miss the days when you could do custom biome sizes in world generation. Did they take that away? I remember like there's large biomes, right? I think I did. I tried out large biomes recently. Did they get rid of like being able to do small biomes and stuff too? Frederick Krueger. Why are you why are you giving Freddy his full legal? Full legal. They did take away small biomes. Boo. Boo. I wonder why they did that. I wonder what the reason was. Maybe like it somehow got broken over time with some of the updates they were doing. Just wasn't like generating properly or something. Frederick. Freddy spat. I need some more dark oak chat. Especially for the walls. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Heck yeah. There we go. Let's pop in a couple blocks here, a couple blocks there. I have to do a full block here. Boom. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how on this side it's going vertically, but then on this side it goes horizontally. Sup with that? Huh? What the? What if I did this? What? I don't understand the logic in this. What's going on? Can I not do that? Oh no. Well, I can round that off with something else, I suppose. Hmm. Oh yeah, we could just pillar this off. You're right. We could probably just like do a pillar on this wall or something. Something like that. Yep, just adding a little bit of lighting to this area. No sweat, no sweat. It's how my orientation is. Oh, can it be changed? I'm so confused. Huh? Wait, how does this look as a block, as a unit? I'm trying to figure out. Put a block between and then place the block against that one. In between. Oh, like, wait, if I do it like this. Come on. No! What if I do it like this? No. How does one do this properly? I am so confused. Maybe I have to do it off to the side. Like that. What? Okay, now I'm getting real confused. With the full blocks, it's always gonna be wonky. Aw, oh, man. Maybe I'll just take the L and do this, you know? Dang. You know what? I bet you any money there's a vanilla tweaks for that. You know? There's gotta be. I 
feel like House of Kruger needs a window, you know? So I'm gonna have to like put a window here at some point. Actually, to be honest, this is gonna have to come out more anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. So funny. What a hilarious thing that I've done. The House of Kruger. All right, well, I guess with uh, the House of Kruger kind of half done, that's probably a good place to uh, leave the stream today. We've been live almost three hours. So I think that's a good point to stop it. Next week, we're going to continue working on this little bathroom situation that we've got. It's basically chat. If you haven't um, seen this yet, we made an outhouse that goes into a secret layer and the secret layer belongs to Freddy Krueger. Um, so that's, that's the story of this area. The, the Krug crew. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a clubhouse, you know, it's very, very uh, particular who they allow here. So what was that noise? Oh my God. No, sir. You're not allowed in here. House of Kruger. You don't have a membership. If there's no membership, you're not allowed. You're not allowed here. I didn't see your access card. So sorry. Sorry, dude. Had to happen. All right. <laughs> the panic poop hut. Yeah, this is, this was originally supposed to be a panic room. For what? I don't know. But now, now it's a Freddy Krueger fanatics house. If you're a fan of Freddy Krueger, you come on in. <laughs> all right, chat. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much all for the memberships, uh, for all of the super chats and just for hanging out. I had so, so much fun with you all today. So um, I'm going to be getting a video for you all tomorrow. So definitely look forward to that. And um, with that, I think on Friday, we're going to be streaming on Twitch. And if you don't, if you're not able to make it to the Twitch streams, I will just be back here on Monday. The schedules might be like a little bit messed up. I'm still going to try to get my uh, my streams done every week. But as of right now, it's looking like we're good to go for Monday. So once again, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me today. I had such a blast with you all and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.